First of all, I want to thank you all for coming. And second of all, I want to thank Flower Magazine. I want to thank um, America's Mart. And also I want to thank Accent Decor because I could not have done these beautiful flowers without containers, flowers, it all works together. So how many of y'all glad to be here today? to talk to me and I'll talk back to you, okay? So don't sit up there and say he looks so cute. <laughs> Look at his sweater. And yes, I know I have a tarantula on my shoulder. <laughs> okay? So we're all good. We got that out the way, okay? Uh, but I want you to talk to me. If you have a question, don't fear to raise your hands and say, hey, Kanan, what you think about this? Do you know about this? And if I don't know the answer, we'll go find somebody that do, okay? We're good? good? All right, all right. So I'm so happy to be here, like I said before. We have quick things that I like to do. I, I am a florist, but I like to do, we do mostly huge events, parties and homes, but also we do huge weddings, and we do small weddings too. We do the typical parties that you ask us to do, we can do it. But I love doing arrangements that speaks volumes. So bigger is bigger. If you don't do big, don't do it at all, okay? So as you see some of my work here on the screen, uh, I mean, I brought in an olive tree. For This is a Greek wedding that we had in my hometown, Macon, Georgia. Woo-hoo, Macon. Um, we uh, did this beautiful wedding, and I just say more is more, okay? And I love flowers, so we're gonna use a lot of them. Y'all ready to get started? So the Decor provided this beautiful container for me, okay? So you say, oh, I got girlfriends coming over, or I'm having a party, dinner party. I don't know what to do, what to get ready for. One of the things I like to pick out is, I love hydrangeas. These are mini green hydrangeas. And yes, a lot of people are so afraid of them because they say they don't hold the water or they die so quickly. Well, you didn't put enough water in. You, water, water, water is the key to this, okay? So you have to use a lot of water to keep your flowers fresh, right? And if you keep your house on 100 degrees, of course it's gonna die. So you want to be able to keep your house at a cooler temperature when you're having florals in the house because you just want them to be able to luxuriate, right? That's right. Y'all still looking at me, I don't hear you talking. Y'all hear no That's right, that's right, amen, give me an amen or, amen. or something, okay, that's right. That's right. You gotta hydrate them. You gotta hydrate them, hydrate them, that's right. So I start out with my hydrangeas, and a lot of people say, well, when do you know where to stick them? I don't. I just throw them in. So, but I do have a form to the method, okay? So we use like to go on the sides first, side, side, back, middle. Got me? Side, 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 side back, side. middle, okay? And so I did that to be able to create the space that I need to have for my arrangement. And yes, sometimes the arrangements do get too big that you can't see your neighbor across the table. It's okay. You always can move it over, okay? <laughs> or look to your neighbor to the right or the left. So I started with my hydrangeas, also my roses. I love roses. I think roses are the beautiful things that you can, that is created. So I blow on everything that I do, because I'm full of hot air. <laughs> So I blow, I blow my roses because I love, I think flowers should be at their full point when your guest is arriving or when you're getting ready to do something. Now, if you're just doing this for your home and you just want to keep it for a week, I don't recommend blowing them, okay? You just want to open up pretty much to this regular stack, okay? So I open, get my roses and you see, I'm loving now clustering everything. See how I just stuck that in there? And I love creating moments. So we like to create a moment with your arrangement, okay? And yes, I pull off my foliage because I want the top bloom to be able to come to its full potential. So when you pull off the greenery, it helps with it, okay? It helps with when you cut them. Every time you get fresh flowers out of the grocery store or out of the Whole, Food, or the Whole Foods or different things, different places, always cut them before you put them in the water, okay? Because you want them to open up, okay? because you don't know how long they've been there. Is that looking like something? So I see my top is kind of flat, so I'm gonna feel that in a little bit, okay? And yes, I do have a southern twang, my southern draw. It's okay, hey y'all. <laughs> 
So I'm sticking it into, yes, I am sticking it using an Oasis, okay? I didn't use a lot because I don't like to do with a lot of Oasis, okay? Because I think it's good for what you're trying to do, but just try to make the flowers fall in its local place and how you want to make it happen, okay? And if I added water to this container, so it is water in this container for okay? All right, well, guys. So I'm still adding my roses. Anybody got any questions for me? So I saw that you just took those leaves off of there. Some of the I did, I did. And okay, did so, so let me tell you, I already um, got my nails done yesterday, <laughs> and my manicure said, where have you been? Because when I use, I cannot use a stripper because I don't like a stripper. A stripper is a roll stripper that you just pull down. I don't like that because I don't feel like I'm one with the flower. <laughs> so I pull off every leaf myself. I do too. Because I touch every flower. Yeah. How many of you all do that? Oh, yeah. That's right. Everybody look at your nails, they do that. Oh, no. No, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, I can tell you if you want to do that. So I like, I love to put, you know, fill in. I love to pull the leaves off. It don't take long. And yes, my assistant, Carrie, she hates doing it because she said, you know, the thorns are getting me. So what? It's okay. You can pull them out. It makes you stronger. Your hands get so used to it. Yeah. Thorns all on this, okay? What about your hand ranges? Do you do anything? Well, some people, yes, yeah, some people like to sell oh, my hydrangeas are dead. I'm going to go throw them all in the tub and put water on them. You know what? The thing that I found that works best for me, I just recut them, stick them down. Some people stick them like this in the water. Some people do it like this. I can stick them straight back down like they can. And some people, I mean, I've seen them be, you know, come back together when they head first. But I kind of like to stick my stems down in the water, okay? And then I know it's drinking and it'll come back together. I feel like if you have to do that, it's probably not going to last as long anyway. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, you, if you've got to like finesse it, to well, get it, the thing is, off. there a lot of people are so afraid of them, but they're a great way to impact your arrangement. I love high yeah. Some people don't like them. I mean, I have a client that called me one day. She said, "Kayden, hey, I love your work, but I just think you use too many high drainages." I said, "Oh." <laughs> but guess what? We did more roses. So roses can open up and help you fill in your different voids in your arrangement as well, okay? So this is what, this kind of arrangement that I'm doing right now. It's kind of like a roundy mound. We have some kind of names for roundy mound here, okay? So I get me some, I got some leaves. So what kind of flowers, you know, people say, I want to make an impact, I need to make my arrangements open, kind of open up a little bit. I don't like it to be flat, okay? I'm just adding because I want it to be kind of give us some different levels. And people say, do you know if it's in the oasis? Yes, you can feel when it's in the oasis. And if it don't get an oasis, guess what you do? Get another one, okay? Yeah. Pull another one out. How it's would, okay. Would, how would you do something that low without oasis? I mean, you can, so you can do a grid. Right. You, could you do can grid. do a grid. You do a tape, the flower right, rose, and sure. y'all know you can use your tape, clear tape, mm -hmm. and we can do a grid and do that. I have to hold it up for you, okay? I want to feel it. That went in too low, but it's okay. It's all right. That'd be hard to transport with just a grid. A lot of a lot. Well, yeah. it will do that. But guess yeah. what? You, you add more water to it. Course. You add more water to it. So if you're going to transport flowers like that, mm -hmm. it's best, you know, you have to weigh your options. Yeah. But if you pack them right, they don't waste too much for you, okay? So how are we looking? We're looking okay over there? Mm -hmm. All right. We just keep filling in. I like it full. I like it full. How many of y'all like it for? Like lazy Susan. Like lazy Susan. Oh. You got it. Yes. You never used one before? Yes. Sometimes you gotta go back to old ways. You get it anywhere you can get. I think this one came from Ikea. Is it plastic? Plastic. It is. So you can get it from anywhere. Lazy Susan's if you have it. Or get them out your kitchen cabinets. How about that? Bed, bath, and beyond with a coupon. Oh, uh oh, bam, 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 with a coupon. Y'all heard that? <laughs> Nancy Susan, okay? All right. I'm going to add so I love this So, how many of you all love lilies? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Not the smell. Do you really love them? Yeah. Well, we all have these things called staining that comes on them. The no. La Pond. Do you really love them? I, I know. So I don't have my Chanel stems, pipe cleaners, 
So I usually pull them out because I don't want them all on everything, okay? And also I get my Chanel stem and I clean them up on the inside, okay? So that's a great way to clean your lilies because you want your lilies to look fabulous, okay? So don't be afraid to get in there and don't wear cute clothes when you're doing this, okay? Because you will get on um, the best thing I know to do is soak your flowers. So I'm gonna let these kind of rest in there because I'm trying to get a full look. Okay? Y'all gotta help me out if I'm poking in the right place. Yes, let's do Okay? So like I said before, don't be afraid to add it to your flowers. See, I'm making it all come together. We got all come together. We gotta make a moment. We gotta make sure everything is looking full. So this, when someone sit down at your table, they go, oh, how long did it take you to do that? You know? And so, like, if they really are true friends, they would never say it looked bad. They just say it looks different. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, because you're doing something for them, nice. So how many of you all carry clippers around with you everywhere you go? <laughs> Just in case you might have to cut some. <laughs> See, y'all carry clippers like this in your side corner, but I carry the beer. I hop out and I put down whatever we need to cut down. So don't be afraid to go big. Okay, just a side note. Okay. Well, I, I do wear tennis shoes when I cut in things, you know, because you might have to. And I tell people in my hometown, if they see me cutting, do not stop. Just blow and keep going, okay? Because you want to, I'm trying to find something to make it worthwhile for your guests and everything. And also, I always say, oh, make sure you become friends with your neighbors. Because your neighbors, you might have something that you might need across the fence, okay? We're good? All right. I'm going to move this over. All right. Let's see. Can I pick this? Anybody got any questions for me? Do you spray anything on after the after the Yes, uh, we use crowning board. Anybody know about crowning board? Yeah. Oh, this fabric of container. Oh, it's amazing. So this came from that simple board. Like if you're doing a big wedding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and your start, what day you start off like? So usually uh, we order flowers, so I use a broker and also I, so any state or local wholesale home house I love to use, so we do research. So if I'm going to Dallas, I look at the local wholesale house, but also I have a broker and we'll fly the flowers into where yeah. we're at and, yeah. then, and then we'll have a carrier service to bring them over to us. So it works that way also. Sometimes you have to get them all loaded up and bring them down on the van and the vans and the trucks and caravan down to where you have to go. So it works all kind of ways, but we usually start on Wednesday. We process on Wednesdays. Thursdays we get to poking, but we don't poke too much because we want to be fresh. And then we start doing bouquets and everything on Friday afternoon, Saturday, because we want to be as fresh as possible because those are the flowers are getting photographed the most, right? And then on site, on Saturdays, we usually get in there and we start doing the mass arrangements on site because they're too big to transport. Because bigger is bigger. <laughs> if you go small, it's not worth doing. Okay? So here's my other container that I got from Essence Or I love this container. It's heavy. It's amazing. I love it. So like you have something outside and you have a long table or also in your dining room. I think mixing... Um, containers and fabrics and different things together, it makes a wonderful centerpiece. So I had a little faux pas this morning. I had all these um, tulips. Now for the ones that hurt this, you can close your ear or you can listen to it again. I love tulips. <laughs> I love tulips. Well, it's the thing that I do with tulips that make my tulips last. So we all know tulips open up, they grow an inch when you cut them. One whole inch. So you can cut this and I'll guarantee you in the morning it grows like this. So, how to keep your tulips fresh, we pour a little vodka in the water. And it doesn't matter, so it makes us fall down but makes them stand up. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what kind, I had a woman to ask me one 
one day when I was doing a class, and she said, well, does it matter what kind, Tito's or whatever? <laughs> no, ma'am, it doesn't matter what kind, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then she proceeded to ask me, you know, we have um, tools that grow, grows up in the gardens, and she said, well, do you think it's okay to pour it out there in my grass in my garden for my tools? I said, ma'am, your husband killed me and you for pouring his good vodka outside in the dirt. <laughs> Don't waste your vodka outside. So it usually work in a clear container. So if you have a clear container and you just want to have fresh, I have fresh tulips all the time. So I cut them, put a little vodka in the water and a little bleach in a clear container so it keeps it clean and purified, but also I make sure no foliage is in the water, okay? So, but I pour a capful, don't, don't pour all your vodka in the water, just a capful, okay? And it makes them stand up. And honey, it'd be just like this and they won't grow, and it takes them longer to grow out. We good? Woo! Now that's free. Okay, that's free. So I love tulips. So I think this container calls for fast tulips. Um, don't be afraid to, if, the, if one don't work out, like this will look kind of, this will look kind of limp a little bit, but don't, don't use it, okay? Because it will go out on you. So don't be afraid to reach for something else. So I like my tulips, because I know they're going to grow. I like them to be kind of floppy a little bit, okay? Because we want to make them full. So I'm pulling off all my greenery. For the front row, if any greenery hits you, I'm sorry. Okay? Because I do move kind of real quick, okay? So don't be afraid to cut your tulips and also make them work for you. Sure. So I'm filling in. So I'm thinking the corners need it. It's gonna give us a full look. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Do you Go for it. Put sticks with them to make them fill in. Oh no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Just force it in there. Okay. Don't be afraid. So many people are so afraid of flowers because they're afraid that you'll hurt them. Yes, you do have to be a certain kind of way, but don't be afraid to work with them. You know, I'm working with these roses. You know. <laughs> Be careful, they got thorns, okay? You know. Is that finesse? Finesse? Uh, this is um, free spirit. Free spirit. Free spirit. Okay. Watch your thorns, okay? Free spirit. And don't forget to pass the people in the back, okay? All right. So I'll keep adding my tulips because I want my tulips to be able to fill in this middle of this arrangement, this container for me. And I'm just sticking them in. Sticking them in. What you think? What, what drew you into the field? Why what drew you into the field? Yeah, where's, so, the passion? where's the passion come from? Where the passion come from? So I worked for a museum in my hometown for 12 years, all the way through high school and college. And then I, my flower godmother is here. She probably get upset if I call her out. Uh -huh. She told me everything I know. Where's she at? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> so she told me, her, she surprised me. So she came up, but um, she taught me everything I know because she said I had a little something. But <laughs> thank you for sharing with me. But um, we have this thing. She taught me how to don't be afraid to do something big. Don't be afraid to make it. Fabulous. Now, it's one thing that I get upset with her sometimes about. Uh, we was at a church doing two mass arrangements on the altar, and she said, "When well, Switch came in, because you made yours pretty, so Switch." And then the client walked in. She said, "Oh, Allison, you're so so beautiful." Yeah. I was like, "That's the one I was working on." <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we, uh, you know, sometimes when you work with people and you know the way. It, moving, it works great because everybody has their own way of doing it. But the, the only way that we always try to get, we want all of it to be done and want to be beautiful for our clients, also churches, different things that we're doing. So don't be afraid to work together and make it happen. You know, I love um, the Atlanta community because we all kind of work with each other and, you know, kind of fill in when we need help and that's part of it, okay? So I'm adding my tool. Do you see something over there? Are they peeping out? Mm -hmm. All right, I want to see. So this is 
fire red. I got out of the cut with my. That's already blooming around here? Yeah. You don't feel like I can't tell it's trade from trade secret stuff. We ain't gonna do that. But yeah, in the country. On the back road. <laughs> <laughs> Chapel is horrible. So I cut off and I saw it, so we got out, I got in and started cutting. And I put it in a bucket. I try to make it last a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see if it's gonna last. But look at that. This is like just adding a different texture. So with flowers, I think when you add different textures and different, don't be afraid to put it where it needs to go. When you add different textures and different things, it makes it worthwhile. Because people can actually see that, right? What you think? Can you see it? All right. Good. Y'all got any more questions? I'll hear you talking to me. Um, not really. Well, you know, the thing is, I don't like to spray a lot of bouquets with it because when you paint it to a bright, you don't want all that drips to it. So I'm always real particular about that. But I kind of spray everything. Sometimes I spray myself. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's the spray that we use. Uh, it's how we call it spray shine. And we should use the spray. See how it blows these wings on? It just shine them up. So if you have, if you use a lot of foliage, which I do, we cut a lot of foliage out. So we, I spray them up so they can look fresh. We look okay over there. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna step that right now. Let me move this one. So one requirement of doing flowers, you got to be able to be strong. I know I'm a little guy, but I'm stronger than a little. See, can everybody see this? I'm about to step over the front. Okay, so I wanted to add those are quince, and they are blooming. And you know, I recut them because when you have foliage and stuff that you get out of the yard, I think you should always recut them. And you can tell when they need to be cut because they get red brown at the bottom. Just cut them and then put them back in the water because you want those blooms to pop open. You want and hot water does help. So. A lot of people have a lot of time, a hard time with lilies because they're closed. Oh, I don't know what to do with them. I see people use um, um, blow dryers. I see people throw them together, which it works sometimes. But hot water, and you, you have to be careful with it because you will burn the stems at the bottom, okay? Just be careful, but it actually helps open them up, put them in a close room. And also, sometimes we pack buckets too tight. Open them, get them out of the buckets. Open the container, open them up when you want them to start opening. Like we, when we process, we start opening them up then because we're going to start working with them, okay? The next step, put them in the cooler. Sometimes we have to sit them out because we want them to grow, we want them to open, we want them to be at the full effect of, okay? All right. So this mama, how many know, how many know what this is? Salad Daniels. Salad That is right. So some, some people get it confused with what else? Well, side of the intersect. <laughs> so uh -huh. I've cut it on the side of the interstate before. <laughs> so it's all there go. And you, I don't know. Some people say, why, well, how do you know where to um, cut it and how you want it? I don't. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. So you have to really go with the feeling that you have and what you're trying to create and what you're trying to convey to the people that's looking at your arrangement. So I'm gonna stick this up here. I see a hole. Can everybody see that hole there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill it in. How about that? I'm gonna fill it in. So I work. I always work from the back forward because I want to be able to fill the whole arrangement out. But also we have these areas sometimes that people forget to fill in. People can see that the side. So we call it a shallow box. So we want to shallow it out so people can see a full arrangement, right? So I'm filling it out for you. I'm gonna add my pretty old home. I love it. Oh, oh. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, flowers just make me so excited. I'm so happy. 
I mean, how can you complain or how can you get upset when you're working with someone that's so beautiful? Let's see this in the past because I want to show it all. Well, I just popped out. That didn't work. I shut up. So if, it, if that happens, guess what? I cut this program, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick it this way. How about that? So don't be afraid to keep talking. It's a feeling that you have, okay? Don't be afraid to make it happen. See, this arrangement went from here, here, now it's here, okay? Now, how are we gonna feel it new? Okay, that's a little gap. <laughs> how are we gonna fill it in? So, I walk, I think lilies are a great, 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 great way to fill in the arrangement. Oh, the girl is going to be so mad at me. Because they're not you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so, yes, when I first started, I used to try to clean up as I go. Mm. That don't work. Mm. That don't work. You have to kind of wait to the end. You got to make a big old mess. That's a good thing. So, I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter. I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to fill in. So you see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. so what I do to the bottom, what I do to the side, I'm gonna do to the middle, I'm gonna do, you know, always try to fill in to the top. Cause I want it to work in. So I got another space. I need space right there, right? in that part as well? Yes, I get a small piece in there, but it's full of water. It is heavy. It's full of water. You get a little, little, little bit of heat. How many of y'all like stock? Mm -hmm. uh, it smells so good. Just So that stock, it smells so sweet. It gives a great fragrance. Give you a good. Everything I put in, I always cut because I want to make sure it lasts and stay fresh, right? Um, why don't you take off those leaves? Just what? because today, or would you normally take so them off? I pull off the bottom, but I like them kind of at the top. Oh, you keep them at the top? Yeah. I kind of like them at the top because I think you know how to want a naked flower. It fills in. It fills in the bones, right? Yeah. And some people pull them all the way off, but I like mine to be kind of a little bit. Now, if they look ragged, you know, you just take them all off. I fill it in. Somebody said, well, you're not doing the mill yet. Well, we got, we got a plan for the mill. I think, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Anybody got any questions for me? Come on. Is your oasis sticking above the container? It is. Because you need it high enough to be able to have, because you need space. So a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when they're doing arrangements. Space is pushed down, you don't have space on the side. See, I can go all out now because I have space. And I used the uh, big brick, okay? But I cut half of it off. Because I wanted to stuff it in because I wanted it to be ordered. So I cut it completely in the middle, okay? Um, don't be afraid to. Now, don't ask me the name of because I just forgot. Uh, <laughs> but I won't think of it. Last week. Last week. Last week. That's it. Yes. Thank you. So I love this. Love this last week because. It's so airy. It's giving me a love, give me, send me to the moon. Isn't it beautiful? You're doing it. You are doing it. You probably find that on the side of the highway, too. You think we can? You have to pay for this? <laughs> it looks very similar to a wheel. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I need to go on the journey. Uh -huh. I need to go on the journey. See what we can do. 
So that just changed this whole entire arrangement, right? Yeah. It did, it made it change for us, right? But we need to make it a little bit more edgy, right? So I think a great way when you do an arrangement like this to make it edgy, your roses, I always go back to roses or any type of full face blue because I think it helps to see those in together because it makes a bigger impact, okay? So don't be afraid to make a big impact so you have these lizards, and so I'm gonna cut them up because I need them to be all. I had to be careful. Right, Allison, don't smash these lilies, right? Uh-huh. So, fill it in. Don't be afraid to poke it. If you poke it in the wrong hole, take it out and poke it in, in a different hole, okay? So I love a garden look. I love something that is able to give us a moment. Okay. Look at that. Oh, send me to the moon. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my, my roses. So I say, you know, I did three different looks, but I wanted to have the same color palette so you can show you that you can do three different looking things and it all can look totally different. You can have the same flowers and make them all look different. Okay? So I want to do my roses a little bit tighter because they're showing me a lot of color, right? Mm -hmm. showing me some color. Don't, so some people, so how we usually start out always like a color palette. What colors make you salivate? What colors make, they always start with the colors. So sometimes brides will tell me, oh, I like purple. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my favorite color. So I said, oh, what if we do a little green with the purple? What if we do a little blue with the purple? To kind of make it class it up a little bit. Then you can add a little white to it. So inch by inch, because you don't want to get stuck in one look, and it don't give you that moment that you need, and it, I don't think it shows off well when you, you keep yourself in a box, okay? So get outside the box if you can. Some brides like that one look. So how can you be creative enough to tell her that, hey, we need to try it this way, and how about we do it these shades or this color palette to make it work for you? Do you do many arrangements that are not fresh flowers? I don't. We call that silk. <laughs> and I love silk flowers. I love silk flowers. We love silk flowers. We love our neighbors. We love silk flowers. But I, I, um, I really, I really think when you have fresh flowers, it really just enhances something. But guess what? Now the silk flowers are like real flowers. They look good. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's just so funny how it looks and how people make them to look real. But I love real flowers and I think it, it shows your, you know, because with a real flower, with a silk flower, you can do certain things, you can move it and twist it. But with a real flower, it's going to come to its own. It's going to land where it's long way. And it's, you got to add something else to it to make it work. Okay? Yes, so I do, I do, I do use, yeah, I do use like those big um, dry pampas grass and all that stuff. I do use those things, and I love that. I mean, but you know, just a, like a rose, I probably, how long I just use the real thing, I just like it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking like something to fill this hole. Yes. The hole. So if you step back sometimes, you can see where you need to go, right? So I need something here and something here, right? Do you teach classes? I do. I do. I do. We need a, um, I think when you're doing flowers, I think you have to be your own interpreter for your arrangement, but also we can just give you the guidelines on how to make it work for you. You know what I'm saying? This hole here. And then the whole year. And what colors are you going to be preserving? Spring. Oh. Spring colors. Spring. <laughs> you know, I, I hate to say it. 
pink is the new black. I love it. <laughs> like really bold pink and a lot of blush. You know, they haven't went out yet. Um, last year we did so many blush and white weddings. It's still, it's still holding to that a little bit, you know. But I'm seeing more now, girls, so you do doing more like burgundy and green and, and more, everything's more wispy and using more foliage, leaves more, you know, branches and the bouquets. Um, bouquets are more different now. They are doing like all bouquets. They're more this way, this way, this way. And I love it because it just shows, it can mix it up. Um, I, done, I did a wedding um, last April and the bride wanted to do a desert themed wedding. Well, she brought me some cow hide rugs. I said, well, you don't see cows in the desert. <laughs> but guess what? She didn't want any flowers. She wanted all the succulents. I'm like, Lord, what can we do with succulents? So I got, I got, I found a place that have all these tall, I mean, succulents, all just different things. And we brought it all in. I said, well, how can I really make this fun? Because I like a flower element. So we got a lot of roses, O'Hara roses. And, and then we did um, eucalyptus, and we just made it work well. And it was beautiful. Because she pushed me out of my comfort zone. I used the pompous grass too in it. I mean, she pushed me really out of my comfort zone on doing fresh flowers. How can we make it work with something else? It was fun. And, you know, the cows look good in this. <laughs> my sister almost said, look pretty good. <laughs> Anybody got any more questions or anything? Y'all been a great bunch. I want you to give yourselves a hand.